What's up guys, Nolan here, and today in Tarkov we're getting daily updates I guess now from BSG. I'm gonna be exposing the newest PMC group coming to escape from Tarkov. That's a joke, but you'll see why I said that in a second. As well as it looks like Nikita and the boys at BSG have been having some fun on the Kalishnikov range with their new toys. So first things first, it looks like we are now getting daily updates from BSG of the minor technical variety, and only data miners would really know all the changes right now because they are not telling us what any of the changes actually are. If you're curious why we would actually care about the minor technical fixes and its specifics, it's because they aren't just minor technical fixes. It looks like they're also messing with the availability and hideout crafting recipes as well. I'm not going to get super specific with these because who knows if these changes were a mistake that will be changed by this time tomorrow because again, they aren't telling us anything. All I will say is maybe check on your favorite ammunition to make sure it's still at your favorite trader in the same quantity. Not that at this point of the wipe that makes any real difference because everyone can just get whatever they want from the flea market at any time, but whatever. I'll also check your hideout if you are looking for some found in raid or useful items as they may have added an item that is useful to you now. Just so I'm not leaving you completely in the dark as of today, they messed around with at least the availability of BS and BT ammo. They've also added a hot rod craft in the nutrition unit of the hideout. Who knows if they'll stick around though, so no matter when you're watching this, that might have changed. If I end up getting real proper info that won't require me to possibly delete a video for misinformation a day after I post it, I'll let you guys know. Last thing I'll mention here is that they could be doing all of these small updates in preparation for 12.8 we can hope but that could just be my positive thinking coming out it could really be a lot of different things so we'll see next up i knew that these manhole covers all over the new customs were a little bit fishy so i can't wait to see what the new teenage mutant ninja turtle pmc faction might have for us all jokes aside i have a possibly crazy speculative theory here that i want to throw at you guys people are asking for more extraction points people are wondering how extractions will work with map to map travel or open world reserve Customs and Factory are thought to be the first maps that will connect. All three of those maps also have underground bunker extracts. Reserve has a manhole extract. Customs has manholes everywhere now. And Factory is getting an expansion, but makes sense to have sewage access. When you put all of that together, I'm thinking these manhole covers will allow you to extract easier at the very least. And then all the way on the other side of the crazy speculation spectrum, I think BSG wants to connect these three maps through an underground network, if not at least sewage pipes. These maps are close together so it wouldn't be a ton of work. It makes sense for the lore because it's just sewage pipes and you can already get to safety by leaving through a manhole on reserve. How is that safety unless it actually leads somewhere that's actually safe? Again, crazy speculation, but I hope you see my point there. It could be a thing. Absolutely, regardless of what we have right now, these manhole covers are here and they're everywhere. So something's up. Last but not least for today, if we take a field trip over to Nikita's Instagram account, the boys seem to be having a lot of fun on the range lately with all of the new toys coming out of Kalishnikov. They're seen shooting a few different weapon systems, including a 338 bolt action rifle, the new AKs, and the new belt fed LMG. So either they're having some good fun on their own, or we can expect to see these weapons in game at some point, maybe both. I tell you what though, it does look like they're having some fun. If you want to check those out for yourself, I'll leave his Instagram linked below, but just as a heads up, he mostly posts in Russian, although he does reply in English a lot, but it doesn't really matter because the content is always cool over there. So yeah, check that out if you want to see the origin stories for the operator Nikita emote. That's going to be all for today, September 16th, 2020 in Escape from Tarkov. If you guys notice some other changes, please comment them below as I'm sure I've missed some things. If you need more of that, Tarkov content or development news in your life, then check out the playlists here. If you're looking for people to cosplay PMC Ninja Turtles with, then join our Discord below. If you like this video, then you know the drill. I really appreciate the people who do. Otherwise, I hope you at least learned something, and I also hope you have a nice day. See you guys.